Welcome back to another episode. Uh, in this episode today, I'm going to be covering a long range slash predator varmint um, round and rifle for under a thousand dollars. And uh, if you know you've been looking into if you've been looking into long range rifles to do some you know long range shooting, whether it's precision shooting. Or if you're just wanting to shoot some groundhogs at, you know, a thousand yards or coyotes at, you know, between 500 to a thousand yards, this is the gun for you. Now, you're probably looking at this and you're saying, okay, well, how do I get this for under a thousand dollars? And it's simple. All this is, is a Ruger American Predator. It's chambered in 6.5 Creedmoor. That is my favorite round by far. Uh, I've been target practicing with it. I've killed a few coyotes here and there and i've got some groundhogs with it and by far the the round is just it's nasty the exit wound is is crazy so the 65 creedmoor is definitely my go-to round and on top of that there's a lot of people who don't have an issue shooting a thousand yards with it now i personally have not got that far with it on shooting but i've seen it done you can look up videos for yourself um, but anyways you know this is my go-to caliber you guys can use whatever you want and so this rifle alone for just a rifle and the plain stock the stock that comes on it is roughly 499 so 500 bucks okay i didn't like that i uh i like kind of like i said like this look right here you know i didn't have a thousand dollars just to spend on a rifle uh nor did i really want to i didn't want to spend 1500 i didn't want to you know i was trying to go the cheapest way but still look the coolest and get the accuracy out of it so a lot of reviews, you know, I went with Ruger American Predator, and then I got this Magpul stock, uh, which fits it, you know, it was 200 bucks, but right now I've looked them up, and they're anywhere from two to $300, so it kind of just depends where you go, and what time of year you buy them, you know, I'm sure they run different sales and whatnot, but like I said, I got mine for 200 and what I like about this is the normal Ruger American with the stock, it comes with just a three round mag, right? And so, you know, depending on what you're shooting, you know, are you really going to have that many times to bolt and shoot again, you know, like say like a running coyote or if a pack come in. What I like about it is when you get the mag pull, it comes with a five round mag and actually you can still fit the Ruger, the, the stock Ruger mag in it with the mag pull on it. So you can kind of have two mags if you need a, you know, quick switch. But like I said, what are the odds you're shooting that fast? Um, so that's, that's what I like about it. There's so many attachments to, you know, there's there all the different spacers right here. I don't know how good the camera will pick this up, but there's different spacers right here. You can add more. It all comes with it. So you can fit this rifle and this stock perfectly so that when you pick it up, it's wherever you want it to be at. And, you know, there's different harness mounts for your slings and chest mounts, uh, up in the front here. Right here, there's different mounts that you can buy for different tripods, and uh, you could put the Picatinny rails on it if you want. I haven't really got that far into it. I've kind of just left it pretty stock. Uh, also, the cheek riser right here, you can keep this stock, which is just a plastic, or you can actually unscrew some bolts back here, take this off, and there's a cushiony one. Like I said, I didn't really need it. Just didn't really feel like buying it. Uh, so like I said, I got this for 200 now, my scope is something that I would like to upgrade uh, when I get the funds for it. But this right here is a Barska 6x24x50. And I've had this scope for, I want to say, at least every bit of five years. I had it on a 17 HMR. Fantastic groundhog round, by the way. But that's what I had this on. You know, these scopes only run like 100 bucks, so you can imagine... They're good, but they're not fantastic. So that's definitely one thing if you're going to shoot, you know, up to a thousand yards and that's what your goal is to just constantly shoot far. You may want to upgrade because the glass gets a little foggy. But like I said, you can get this scope. Uh, I've shot up to, you know, 500 yards with this scope and it's super clear. And like I said, once you get out past that, it gets a little blurry, right? So truthfully, if you're just long range shooting, that's all you need. Okay. But because I'm doing, you know, predator control, coyote hunting, etc., you know, I did go ahead and put this light on top. Uh, it is a Cabela's light. It's a 900 lumen light. So, you know, apparently on high, there's three different modes, but on high, you should be able to still see 
uh, like 550 yards. It's 500 meters, so whatever that breaks down to. And it's just on this side, you can put on whatever side you want. There is a pressure switch. So, you know, as you can see, you just press it on. Okay. And that, uh, that light actually has a green lens on it. It comes with a red in the case, or you can just run white if you want. And let me tell you, I did not know how bright 900 lumens was until I turned just the white light on. And uh, luckily I wasn't staring at it because I'm not that stupid. But I realized uh, it is definitely bright and I've tried it out. Uh, I had a, a tree stand at my last spot. It was like 400 yards from me and I had it on the, just a white light at dark. And I could see it through my scope plane as day. Um, so compared to if you're looking at, you know, some of the other scopes lights that are, you know, 250, 300 bucks. Like I said, this scope, so this scope light's only like 100, 120 bucks. You might be able to get it cheaper if you look for sales. Um, I haven't used it that much to give a great review on this. The more I use it, I'll definitely give you guys a, another feedback on how I feel about this light. And also for you suppressor guys, or the guys that like their muzzle brakes on the end of Ruger Americans for this you know I, I don't know if it's all the Rugers but I know on an American Predator their barrel is threaded so you can just unscrew the cap on it like this it's pretty simple quick you know quick change boom threads are exposed so if you're running a muzzle brake or like I said if you run suppressor you know you got your license or if you don't I'm not telling just don't tell anyone and you can thread it on there and you're good to go but that like i said this rifle right here at six it chambered in six five cream more you know it's just it's a fantastic round and it's nasty and i can't wait to have more videos with it of like i said either long range shooting so i can show you guys just how easy it is with the rifle that's capable of doing it as a beginner of myself to shoot that far and also to get some more kills on cam for you guys. Um, this way you can see the exit wound. So if you guys are looking to see, you know, what caliper should I go with for, you know, predator control? Well, you can see the exit wound and see uh, see just how great I do with this. But I just kind of wanted to, you know, step in for a minute and go over my beginner, as I'd call it, my beginner to intermediate uh, long range rifle under a thousand dollars, you know, a lot of us are on a budget. There's nothing wrong with that and you can still get, you know, in my eyes, the best of the best without having to drop two to three grand on a rifle. So hopefully, uh, hopefully this guys helps you out if, you know, you were in the market for this and if you ever stumble upon it, hopefully you find this video very helpful and let me know down in the comment, you know, the comment section what are you guys using for long range and what is your guys' longest shot mine is sitting roughly a little around like 520 to 530 or something like that i don't remember exactly i'd like to know down in the comment section uh your farthest shots that you guys have taken and uh yeah so thank you guys so much for tuning in uh, as always subscribe if you like the channel and i will catch you guys in the next episode